Hi guys! In today's video, I'll be showing you how I did these Aurora Borealis nails. You'll have to bear with me with the pronunciation of that word in the video because in my mother tongue, which is French, it's Aurora Boreal. Anyway, I've always loved them and my dream would be to see them in real life. Hopefully, one day I will. Now, let's get started. I begin by applying a peel of base coat because I want to be able to add it to my peely bag. Then, I applied two coats of white polish because I'm going to do a gradient next. For the gradient, I used black, royal blue, light blue, and I also added some light green afterwards, but I didn't film it for some reason. I'm just dabbing it on until I reach full coverage. Please forgive me for not cleaning up my skin right away. I don't have liquid latex at the moment and it threw me off, but I'll clean it in a couple of steps. Okay, now it's time for the Aurora Borealis. To create them, I use the one stroke technique, so you're gonna want to use an angular brush. It doesn't have to be super small since we're only gonna use the tip of it. I'm just dipping the tip of my brush into my green paint and then into some water. You don't want to get too much water on the brush or else it will be too runny, so I'm just going to dab it on a cloth to remove the excess. Then I just do this thing in my palette. I don't know what to call it, but I think the video is pretty self-explanatory. Okay, now that the brush is all ready with the paint, we can finally paint something on my nails. I'm just gonna do squiggly line on the top part of my nail. I went back in a couple times to reach opacity. Then I just redid all the same steps, but with the light blue. Next step is to do the trees. I began by painting a line for the horizon, and then I just made lines to create trees. I made sure to make them go from big to small, from the edge of my nail to the middle. Told you I would clean up my skin, only thing is I forgot to film it and this is the only footage I got. Then I just replicated the trees I did on the other side of the line. To create the illusion that the trees are being reflected into water, I used the same one stroke technique as before, but this time with white paint. I had to dilute it more than the green because I didn't want it to be fully opaque. All that is left is to add a little star in the corner. I was hesitant at first but I applied a hollow top coat. I'm so glad I did because I think it really brings the whole money together. I wish I had a Holo Tacos one, but I'm using China Glaze Fairy Dust. Hopefully I'll be able to get flaky Holo Tacos soon. To finish it off, I applied a glossy top coat and voila! Aurora Borealis Nails. I think it's such a step up from the last Aurora Borealis Nails I did a few years ago. My skills really have improved a lot since then and I'm pretty proud of it. If you enjoyed this tutorial, you can give me a like and leave a comment down below. You can also subscribe to my channel for more videos in the future. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye! Okay, so since you stayed till the end of the tutorial, you get peel porn. So satisfying, I know. I will now be adding them to my peely bag.